A yacht almost entirely made from gold. A racing pigeon sold for $1.9 million. And a stupidly overpriced blue lobster. This is the luxury iceberg. I have made this iceberg so we go from the cheapest things to the most expensive things in the entire world. With some of the entries being very weird. Yeah, this is not a normal iceberg video. Now, trying to find the cheapest thing in the universe is actually a very difficult task as it depends on what we're deciding a thing actually is. The cheapest thing we consumers buy every single day is wheat at $0.007 per gram. Now, on a purely item basis, wheat is the cheapest thing that you can buy in a store, but you can go cheaper than that. In that one Zimbabwean dollar is $0.003. And inflation is still going up in Zimbabwe. So this will probably be outdated by next week. And it's going to be like 10 times worse. Zimbabwe said, what if everyone is a trillionaire? Or if you want to be a complete nerd and scientific about it, a hydrogen atom is the most abundant element in the entire universe making it, by value of rarity, the cheapest thing in the entire universe. So you can technically pick all three of these and you will be right. There literally is no wrong answer to what the cheapest thing in the universe is. It's, it's pretty subjective. A rebel fighter in South Sudan. In South Sudan, there is a current civil war going on, making it one of the most violent countries on earth. It has one of the worst economic situations in the world. The minimum wage in South Sudan is 95 cents a month. A month? 95 cents a mum. <laughs> now, technically, you can't buy a South Sudanese rebel fighter. Kinda. I mean, in terms of bottom of the barrel, no luxury, poorest country in the world, poorest people in the world, absolutely nothing. I thought technically because of this, they've earned a position on my luxury iceberg. Ooh. Oh, and this technically means with 95 cents a month that you could only afford one Walmart red apple for the entirety of the month. It did the whole month. My goodness, a fresh red delicious apple from Walmart? That I like this review where it clearly states they've received no apples and they still rated it two stars. <laughs> what? Did the nothing in the box look good or something? One of those slinky things will cost you around about $7. These things are cool. Everybody loves slinkies. The collector's edition original slinky dog is a classic pull toy animated with the famous slinky spring. Let's get him. Wagging his tail right out of the 1950s. <laughs> The beloved Minecraft, a game where possibilities are only limited by your imagination or lazy game developers. Fun is just in abundance with Minecraft. Oh, I'm having the dandest of times playing this video game. A game you can put hundreds of hours into for only $20. I mean, that just sounds like a good deal. Amazing sound effects, breathtaking storyline, and um, uh, photorealistic graphics. If you didn't know any better, you'd think I'm actually in some sort of forest right now. But I'm not. I'm actually just sitting on the floor against a green screen. I love Minecraft. I, I love, love Minecraft. Minecraft. This dinky little blue lobster had captivated the internet's minds back in 2022 when it appeared randomly as some jump scare scaring children with very loud and distorted bark. 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 Yeah, this bark, not the dog. But we forgive Dracula Lobster as there's only a 1 in 2 million chance of him even appearing in the wild. And the chances of you even catching one are way lower than that. Like about 1 in 200 million. Some restaurants are ready to serve you up Blue Lobster for the price of up to $500. I wanna eat that lobster. Uh, Give me the lobster! There is also other weird lobsters like the Cotton Candy Lobster, the Pink Lobster, there's a Gold Lobster, and there's even a purple lobster. And if you're wondering whether blue lobster tastes any different from normal red lobster, it doesn't. It tastes the same. 
Monopoly, the fast dealing property trading board game. A game in which players take turns rolling dices, buying up properties, picking up chance cards, and collecting that sweet, sweet rent from other players that dare to step one foot on your property. An experience so fun, it will make you want to slash the neck of whoever you're paying rent to. It is one of the most popular board games currently going, with a seemingly endless amount of additions just constantly being made every single second, every single millisecond, every single atom second. If there is any popular piece of medium out there, most likely it has its own version of Monopoly. Now, there is another edition of Monopoly, an edition called Monopoly the 85th Anniversary Edition, and it costs $999. Yeah, that much. And uh, what a what do you get for paying that much for Monopoly? Well, you get silver and gold plastic houses that are made out of plastic and not real. And you get waterworks, which looks like it has gold shoved up its nozzle. But of course, the pieces are made out of gold. You know, the playable character pieces? Yeah, those, those are made out of gold. But not, but not real gold. No, no, no. It's, it's made out of metal. Uh, wait, excuse me. Wait, hold on. Is, isn't gold a type of metal? No! There is a five-star hotel in Indonesia, of which the name I will not try and pronounce. Grand Mercure Mahacipta Medan Angkasa. Grand Mercure El Crater Del Kilo. It has its own pool, sauna, orchid restaurant. It's a five-star hotel for only $36 a night. That is a little over $1,000 a month, or a lot less than this tiny little goblin apartment built by dwarves for gnomes to live in. You could live here for 50% less than you could live here in this rancid place that makes me feel enraged. What terrible, terrible things lurk in New York City apartments, I do not know. But I wish to never visit such foul places. Now, I don't use Tumblr, but there's a very captivating page called The Worst Room, showcasing just jaw-droppingly hideous apartments, almost always in New York City. Always in New York City. I could make an entire iceberg alone on New York City apartments just for how shockingly uninhabitable these places are. They are truly for the ghouls to live in. Here is a quick tip on how to cope with your life in New York City. Leave New York City. Welcome to the future with the Apple Vision Pro for $3,500. The Apple Vision Pro is a mixed reality headset blending in reality seamlessly with the virtual world, or what it should actually be known as an Apple tech demo you can actually buy yourself. A big bulky prototype, the Apple Vision Pro is a bit like sticking an obese hippo on your head. Now, if Apple can reduce the size of the Apple Vision Pro down to something like the big screen, then we are talking some serious business. But until then, man, get that thing away from me. This technology may very well be the replacement for our phones. In the near future, we may actually say stuff like, hey, remember when we had phones? You can use the Apple Vision Pro anywhere, at home, at work, in meetings, in a car park, in abandoned factories, enjoy life and the calculator app anywhere. Monaco is a small city sovereign state between the cracks of Italy and France. The country is basically just a playground for the rich, with casinos and fine dining restaurants and yachts and casinos and I want to go to a casino and put all my money on black. I, I have no more money. Monaco has one of the highest costs of living in the world. You are never going to be able to find an apartment in Monaco for less than a million. Never in your dreams. It's $5,200 per square inch in Monaco. To compare that, it's $2,580 in New York City. And in Tokyo, Japan, it's $2,220. It's double both of those places. This is probably where the most rich and powerful members of society get around and perform sacrifices and stick their heads in microwaves. Almost died after his head was cemented inside a microwave oven. Oh my gosh. 
Are you okay? I don't know, uh, this is okay, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe. Oh, and by the way, the only reason why the water in Monaco is blue is because of contamination with lead. Monaco, my name, Nico. This foul beast, also known as a caracal, also known as falopa, can be bought online for way, way, way too much money. They are a medium-sized cat from Africa, and they are known to be a little bit aggressive. Ah, oh, what a pleasant creature. Yeah, I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say the demon is not quite fond of you. But if you want a cat that hates you and wants to attack you at all times, then you can purchase one for about $7,000, or you can even find ones that are less. I mean, this is clearly just a loving, caring, warm creature of the love. $7,000 to feed this, and all it does is be angry all the time. I'm actually being somewhat sarcastic. I would have one of these, but I'm not paying $7,000. <laughs> no, 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 no. There are websites where you can buy real human skulls for a little over a thousand to $10,000. This is an actual real fetal skeleton that you can buy for $4,500. Wow, I cannot wait to send this to my Facebook and LinkedIn so everybody can see what type of things I'm looking to purchase. Oh, wow, ooh, the reviews aren't looking too spectacular. I wanted a living child. It was too crunchy to eat. It, it makes Jeremiah angry. Man, what kind of sick maniac would write there? <laughs> There was one post selling the skull of a child for like $10,000. I do not think I'm allowed to show this on YouTube. If you've completely lost your mind, you can buy this hyper-realistic, life-sized statue of Joe Biden. This is just excellent for keeping you company, staring at you all night long while you sleep. This is, uh, this is very, very horrifying. All for $15,000, you can enjoy Joe Biden forever he can never escape from you there is there is literally no way out once you purchase him there is no escape not one exit in sight that is the way i like it they also show off this little video of joe biden in all his glory and a whole bunch of other rando celebrities some of these are very uncanny very weird the mr bean one just looks scary you know like the get that thing away from me scary you know not not the normal scary um this is a this is a difference i'm not sure what kind of sick and demented person this is intended for but if you want this then you probably belong in arkham asylum with all your other friends Imagine you have a wife with a life-threatening illness while you're still paying off your mortgage. Your kids need funding for college and your dog just broke its leg and needs urgent surgery right away. Just imagine this for a second. Just imagine. And then you just spend all your life savings on the $15,000 Floyd Mayweather cameo. Do you think that your do you think that your family will be happy or sad that you that you just did that? Do you think they'll be happy or sad? Yes, you can finally get a Floyd May with a cameo for an affordable $15,000. And if that wasn't enough, you can message him for $50. A single message for $50. $50 to send a message, huh? I think I'd rather die. Now, why on earth you would want to do either of those things, that is a bit beyond the reasons of time or space for me, but, you know, to each their own. I mean, a Floyd May with a cameo, that's just a once-in-a-lifetime, going-to-Disneyland type of experience. I mean, you know... <laughs> The true value of this might as well just be in the millions. I mean, I'd sell my entire lower body just for a six second Floyd made with a cameo. I mean, it's just, it's just that worth it. Simon. Happy 30th. Simon. 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 Wow, I mean, that is just completely worth it. I mean, I mean, all those things he said there, I mean, I mean, money well spent, money well spent. Here is what a million dollars looks like in London.
And here is what a million dollars looks like in the Caribbeans. But we are not quite there yet. You ever played Subnautica, you know that fish game, and you finally get that sea bob, you know that thing that makes you just go way faster in the water? Well, did you know that the sea bob is like, actually like a real thing? Oh, it's, it's, it's actually like a, like, 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 like a real thing. Yes, you can actually buy the sea bob and explore the oceans as if you were actually in the video game Subnautica, costing you somewhere between $8,000 to $18,000, depending on the model. Imagine if this guy was coming straight at you while you were in the shower would you be scared yes i would and at a top speed of 22 kilometers an hour which an average human can only go like less than two kilometers an hour you are going to be going way faster than this guy detecting multiple the class, in the region are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it ah! Alamas caviar, the most expensive food in the entire world, costing a little over $50,000 per kg. And the only way you can get Alamas caviar is by catching the elusive creature, the albino beluga sturgeon. So a beluga sturgeon is already critically endangered as it is. So couple that with the fact that you need to find an albino version. The rarity of finding a beluga sturgeon, albino, whatever, like it's, it's, it's not gonna happen. And beluga sturgeon, are really really scary like the largest one being 24 feet i don't want to go near that it is a giant fish the taste is also quite unusual it's like a type of butter with an intense flavoring of nuts i mean that still doesn't make me want to go try it though because it's still fish eggs fish bars the most expensive plane ticket in the world owned by Etihad Airways from New York City to Abu Dhabi, costing $66,000 for one, one way ticket, one person, one way, never again. You might have already seen this flight before as Casey Neistat has made a video on it in which he got 46 million views, where Casey shows you how life would be if you were rich. Kind of a little bit like this video, but without the 43 million views. For $66,000, you get a free room suite, literally your own shower, bedroom for two, and a living area with its own TV. You can actually explore the rooms yourself in this 3D interactive 3D photo. This is the living room, and they, they have crazy rich Asians on, which is probably who you need to be to buy this ticket. We are in the bedroom now. That is a camera. That's where they watch you sleep. For some reason, I can't show you the bathroom. Because if I did show you the bathroom, you wouldn't see a bathroom. You'd see me. The Tesla Cybertruck is a Tesla Cybertruck made by Tesla and kid boy genius Elon Musk. Why am I talking like this? This is how very intelligent people uh, communicate. <laughs> That looks like a dildo. I, I ain't trying to play my games with no dildo. Ha, ha, ha. The greatest thing about the Cybertruck is it can never break and it's basically just indestructible and... It... No. 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 Sometimes I think the Cybertruck looks kind of cool and other times I think it looks... Yeah. Get it away from me. Ah. It definitely has that PS1 inspired design, but I mean, I guess you can't fault Elon for trying new things. Oh, oh, I guess you can fault Elon for trying new things. The Sea Breacher is kind of a bit like you've mixed up a plane, car, fighter jet, Toyota, submarine, sea bob in in under the water. I'm not even sure what you would call this. It's almost like a jet ski mixed with a submarine, like into one. I also don't know how much these cost, but I found one model for $130,000. So take that however you want. What do you think the odds are of you getting this and then immediately crashing into some underwater rock or something? If I had this, I would probably be dead in 20 seconds, maybe even sooner if I saw a whale to crash into. One of the craziest contraptions I've ever seen. 
Okay, so bear with me. This story is a little bit complicated. It doesn't make sense. Imagine Nicolas Cage, who is a self-proclaimed history buff, in an auction with Leonardo DiCaprio, who is a self-proclaimed actor, when all of a sudden a 70 million year old dinosaur skull is presented to the auction, and Cage and DiCaprio lock eyes. They both ponder the idea of having a dinosaur skull in their kitchen. They kiss. Which ignites both of them to enter a bidding frenzy war until Nicolas Cage places the final bet, $276,000, and Leonardo DiCaprio punches the wall and starts crying like a baby. Nicolas Cage jumps in the air in celebration, thinking the dinosaur skull is his, but Mongolia calls and says the dinosaur skull was stolen and must be returned immediately. So Nicolas Cage punches a wall and stubbornly gives the dinosaur skull back to Mongolia. Nicolas Cage decides life is meaningless. Leonardo <laughs> laughs and, and then they kiss and then, and, then that's, and then that's the end. And you know all of this happened, right? You know, all of this happened. Every single thing that I said happened and... Well, not, not everything. Some of, it, some of it was a lie. You can buy a jetpack for $450,000. Yeah, a real jetpack that can make you go... In the air. My only real exposure to jetpacks was the one in GTA San Andreas. You know, the one where you could fly around in the game and you had to steal it from the military base? or you could use cheats to spawn one in. But unfortunately, unlike in GTA, where you can just get a jetpack and fly around forever, in real life, jetpacks only last about uh, basically under 30 seconds. You know, for $450,000, I thought it would have been, you know, a little bit longer than, than like 25 seconds. <laughs> uh, uh. It has come to my attention that you can fly for a lot longer than 30 seconds in a jetpack as there are literally videos of people flying in jetpacks for longer than 30 seconds. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess I was wrong about that. It also might not even be legal to fly. Fly a jetpack at your own risk. Have you ever wanted to go to outer space? Have you ever dreamed of the great beyonds of endless time and space? Well, if you're willing to dish out $450,000, then you'll get to visit suborbit Earth, sending you 62 miles above Earth. So you can see the Earth like this. And one day, Virgin Galactic hopes it can take people further than suborbit space travel to just orbit space travel, so you can see the Earth like this. Now, has the internet really made this price tag a little bit redundant, considering you can just go Google and watch a live feed from a space station for free? Maybe. I mean, is seeing the curvature of the Earth with your own eyeballs really that fascinating in comparison to just watching it from a live feed? I don't know. There is a guy called Barat Jan, a guy with a nearly net worth of a million dollars, and all this guy does is beg on the streets of Mumbai. This guy is literally a professional beggar. There are articles describing him as an entrepreneurial spirit, like... No. Homeless. Oh, but this guy isn't homeless. He actually has his own two-bedroom apartment and has gone into real estate. Well, good for him. At least homelessness is paying off. And his family have been hands on knees begging him to stop begging on the streets. And yet in defiance, he continues to beg. Stop giving him money! I don't even know why this guy is on the list. Like, you can't even... He's not even a thing you can buy. He's just a person. <laughs> Spooky Men on Steam is a game where you run around a house like an idiot running away from a weird ghoul or something. This game used to be a hundred thousand dollars and obviously that is just completely ridiculous. So of course the developer raised it to a million dollars. A million dollars for this game that makes me sick. And there really isn't too much to this game. I mean, you just run around the house collecting candles like a fool until you get enough of them, and then you put them in a circle or whatever, and then you see the Among Us character. Oh, this game not good. 
There are many office chairs in the world. You see office chairs all the time. But did you know the most expensive office chair is $1.5 million? Yes, you're hearing that correctly. A chair is worth more than this island. Simply the world's most beautiful ergonomic office chair. This may be a troll. It just has like a whole bunch of random benefits. Is there anything on this list that you wouldn't find in a normal office chair? Seating technology. What is that? So, oh, is a seating support? Yeah, it's a chair. Like this website doesn't even look real. It, look, it looks very... This, this website is ancient. This is a mortifyingly ancient website. Well, if you decide to buy this chair, then consider yourself robbed and an idiot. The Tibetan Mastiff is a very, very aggressive doggy, originally used for guarding Buddhist monasteries, as well as wolves, thieves, bears, and other predators of the mountains. It is a very, very angry dog, like one of the most aggressive dog breeds you could possibly buy. Trust me, you do not want this dog. Well, come to think of it, if you actually wanted a dog to rip a human to pieces, then, I mean, this would be the perfect candidate. So, I mean... I, I don't know. Like, maybe you maybe, maybe you do want your dog. This is a very, very large and expensive dog breed. A red Tibetan Mastiff called Big Splash was once sold for $1.5 million. The breeder strangely justified the cost of the dog, claiming it has lion's blood and is a perfect specimen. What? Oh, I am sure. Yeah, I am sure. Well, actually, I see the resemblance maybe it does have lion's blood this is a sport i had no idea existed pigeon racing is where humans release tens of thousands of pigeons at a set point and then they race across very long distances of sometimes a thousand kilometers and return to their home location now how does a pigeon know where home is from a thousand kilometers away Literally nobody knows. I mean, I guess the pigeons know. Pigeons are really good at reading the sky, I guess. I'm her after a pigeon just sold for 1.9 million US. Ridiculous. Yes, you heard that correctly. One of these pigeons was sold for $1.9 million. There have actually been multiple pigeons sold for millions of dollars. Why are people buying pigeons for millions of dollars? I do not know. How are you even meant to enjoy pigeon racing from like distances of like a thousand kilometers? So they're just sitting around waiting for the birds to come home. They're just sitting there, just waiting, just looking at the sky. That's what they enjoy about this sport. Sounds like a lot of fun. Logan Paul is the master of being a Logan Paul, the great recorder of the forest and keeper of Pokemon cards. He is something of folklore, where he'll hoard extremely valuable Pokemon cards below the very stone of his mansion. In Logan Paul's possession, he holds a Pokemon card valuing 5.275 million dollars. A PSA grade 10 Pikachu Illustrator card. One of the most desired cards in all of existence. And PSA standing for prostate pacific antigen and grade 10 meaning the same as terminal. So Logan Paul has stage 10 multi-generational terminal prostate cancer. No, I'm, I'm just some... Um... I'm just kidding. <laughs> PSA is just a card grading service with 10, grade 10 being the highest. So the card in Logan Paul's possession is indeed extremely rare. And what makes it even more rare is the fact that it is a Pokemon card. And Pokemon, if you did not know, is a very popular show. There are many cars out there in the world. Some are pile of puke and others make you look very obnoxious. And then there's a very thin line of this is a good car. The Bugatti in general is known for being very fast, very expensive and very obnoxious. The Bugatti La Voitoire Noir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these, these, these French names. <laughs> these French names. Is $18 million, which makes me feel sick just thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know anything about cars, okay? I don't know anything about cars. I don't... 
you know that I know who's that guy? Who's the, who's this guy? I know I know this guy likes Bugattis. You know he's. I remember watching the leaks video of Tristan Tate drive a Bugatti up Andrew Tate's ass. Um, that was a really inspiring video. <laughs> Feast your eyes on the most expensive coin in the entire universe. Now, during the Great Depression, the United States enacted a policy that would make gold coins no longer a form of legitimate currency making these gold coins at the time only valuable for the gold material itself. Most of the gold coins were either melted or eaten in a fit of rage. And yeah, I did decide to shave mid-video. It's gonna be really weird in 30 seconds when you see me with my beard again. So anyway, most of the gold American coins were lost or destroyed, likely because people thought they no longer had any value beyond the gold itself. With today, the remaining coins hold a historic value, the king being the 1933 double eagle and being worth $18,900,000. That took way too long just to say $18 million coin is $20 coin. Deal? Uh, no. The green monkey, being nor monkey nor green, it was actually just a racing horse. So how much would you be willing to spend on a horse? I mean, most will set you back about $100,000 to $10,000. Depending on the breed, the size, the age, I mean, they can just go all over the place. Well, Mr. Green Monkey over here was sold for $16 million, not only making it the most expensive horse of all time, but the most expensive pet of all time. Oh, and Green Monkey was sold back in 2006, making it in today's money worth $24 million. But Green Monkey was sold as a racing horse with the kind of idea that he would win races and eventually get a return for his owner. But Green Monkey, the horse, did not give his owner a return on his investment. Far from it. In fact, his total career earnings were just a little over $10,000, making him not a good investment. Probably one of the worst investments a human has ever made. But apparently, even with no returns, he seemed to have been worth every penny. He was a once-in-a-lifetime horse. There are many statues out there holding the blood, sweat, and tears of sculptors constructing away some of the finest pieces of art humanity has ever known. But the Homme d'Oie, again with these French names, is one of the most important statues of all time, perfectly depicting the muscle mass of an Overwatch player. The Homme d'Oie, the most expensive sculpture ever made, was sold for $141 million. Now is that a reasonable price tag for a statue that looks like this? Sure, why not? I don't, I don't know. The art piece was made by this man, Alberto Giacometti, known for his interesting, but yet funny design. What the hell is that? Clearly this statue is a little bit strange. It almost has like an alien-like appearance. I mean, I mean, can someone tell me why this statue is worth more than this statue? Like what? What sense does that make? It's, uh, well, I mean, I guess it's the finest piece of art I've ever seen. I mean, look at it. Look at its squiggly little arms. Basically, all these billionaire property pieces are worth equal amounts of monies, equal amounts of disgustingly large, and equal amounts of nuclear bomb proof. Essentially, all these billionaire houses are the exact same thing, just really big homes. So I might as well just lump them all into one category. And also, this video would be way too long if I just went billionaire house one, billionaire house two, billionaire house three. Three, four, five, eight, nine, nine. Let me just quickly speed run this. Bill Gates' home is $130 million. Jeff Bezos' home is $330 million. Elon Musk lives in a $50,000 box. Mark Zuckerberg's vault, bunker, whatever is $222 million. And my house in Minecraft is worth 10 big, 10, 10 dollars. Salvatore Monday by Leonardo da Vinci sold for $450 million. This piece of art done by underground unknown artist Leonardo da Vinci, you might have never heard of him, he was born 600 years ago. And Leonardo being born 600 years ago has no relevance to what I have said or am going to say. Somebody looked at this painting and said, I have to have it, I have to have it. 
I have to have it or I'm going to cry like a baby. I mean, this is one of the craziest images I've ever seen in my life. I mean, that's Jesus Christ casting a water spell. Whoa, casting a water spell, doing wizardry. Whoa, Jesus was quite the trickster. The Migalo M5 will be the first luxurious super submarine, costing a mind-gaggling $2 billion. I mean, that helipad over there, it opens and closes just like a hangar for storing a helicopter. It even has its own smaller submarine in the bigger submarine. So you have a submarine in a submarine, in an ocean, in a fishbowl, in, in the earth, in, in the something. Oh, and this submarine can stay submerged for up to four weeks, but let's be real. Nobody wants to stay submerged underwater in a submarine. Buckingham Palace is the most expensive property in the world, with the price of this palace being all over the place, from 1.3 billion to 4.9 billion, give or take a billion. Buckingham Palace has the historic value of being where the Queen lives lived can't believe she's gone man she was literally just a kid you can even see a ps1 3d render of buckingham palace on google doesn't this look cool and buckingham palace is right in the middle of the most welcoming wholesome just nicest city in the world london living in london offers a rich cultural experience with its diverse population world-class museums theaters and music venues the city is known for its historic landmarks beautiful parks and a wide range of dining options additionally london is a hub for international business and offers a variety of career options public transportation is extensive making it convenient to explore the city and beyond it is also the prime breeding ground of the most silly looking guards on earth their jobs consist of important duties like standing around like a statue doing nothing and screaming like a hawk or something when people walk by. Get back to the Queen's Guard! Get, 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 get back to the Queen's Guard! This golden yacht called the History Supreme is a yacht made from 220 pounds of solid gold material. Not to mention other valuable materials like platinum just being thrown into the kitchen. Just why not? Anyway, this yacht costs a creepy $4.8 billion and it was purchased by a mysterious Malaysian businessman. Nobody knows for sure who the mysterious Malaysian businessman is, but the most likely candidate is Robert Kua. I've probably completely butchered his name. He is also 100 years old. Not that it has any sort of relevance. It's just really, really strange to see someone's wiki. It says 100 years old and they're not dead. The International Space Station, costing an affordable $150 billion. Launched back in November the 20th, 1998, essentially just being a space laboratory, but in space. Where scientists from around the world conduct some of the most important experiments in the, in the space. Uh, hello there, sir. I've finished the drink piss experiment you asked me to conduct earlier. I have I've finished. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I, I remember. I remember telling you uh, that to do that. I... Uh, 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 so let me just repeat if you want another international space station for yourself then you have to dish out 150 billion dollars i suppose this doesn't answer the question why would someone even want an international space station for themselves here is a picture of a pigeon Antimatter is very cool stuff. I like antimatter, and I wish I had antimatter, because if I did have antimatter, then you would be very scared. Antimatter is the exact same as regular matter, but they differ on their electric charge. And this difference in electric charge causes them to not like each other. So when regular matter and antimatter touch each other, they convert each other back into energy. And when they convert each other back into energy, that causes a very big uh, boom boom. You could be a very big nuisance uh, if you had antimatter. You could be a. You could be very very silly. So how much does it cost to make antimatter? Sixty-two point five trillion dollars. 
per gram. One gram of antimatter would actually cause the explosion equivalent of Hiroshima. But we probably shouldn't use it to blow each other up. That would, that would probably be a really bad use of antimatter. Instead, we can use antimatter as a future energy source for interstellar space travel, exploring other planets, going through our galaxy, and eating nebulas and cool stuff like that. So basically, that's it. I mean, there's nothing more expensive than antimatter. So if you've made it 40 minutes into the video, then you need to subscribe or I'm not going to be happy. I'm <laughs> <laughs>